Good morning, beautiful souls. Today is Thursday, February 3rd, and I hope that your day is off to a good start. Oh, my candle's not even lighting. I have been having a very ominous morning, <laughs> and um, wow, I've never had one of these candles do this. And I'm not going to get into it um, in today's daily message because I don't want to keep you for too long. But I am going to make a whole video about it because the sequence of events that have been happening to me already this morning are absolutely absurd. And <laughs> I feel the need to um, discuss them. What is up with this candle? This is so weird. Hold on. Oh, goodness, I'm starting to get a really weird feeling like of dread, like something's going to happen. It's hard to explain. Again, I'll, I'll explain it in this other video. I'm probably going to make it right after this while it's still fresh in my mind. But let's get into today's message. Number four, you are limitless. You can do anything that you choose. When you are too close to a situation, you only have one perspective. There are so many possible outcomes for this situation. Take a broader look. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowing to help you. Things always work out as they should and it's out again, okay. When your soul is experiencing its purest form, it has limitless knowledge, infinite wisdom, and boundless energy. You may have developed some negative self-talk that is limiting what you can accomplish. Connect to the beautiful light that dwells in your being and represents your soul. Remember that your abilities are fueled by your imagination. Dream big. A unicorn emerges from a woman's being. The unicorn represents healing powers, possibility, and knowledge of the soul. Two swans sit in the heart area to signify the grace that is connected to you always. Trust in your ability and know you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. And the first thing that jumps out at me is here when it discusses release the need to control what is happening. Okay, I think that's the biggest, and they just, oh my gosh, the candle, okay, all right, all right, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, guys. The candle just came back from death. I have full body chills, my eyes are watering. I'm freaking out. I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> oh, it's going to be the weirdest message of all time. Releasing control is the most difficult thing for all of us, I think, that need to be in control of our lives because if we're not in control, then we feel like anything can happen and um, it can be scary in, you know, the unknown to not know what's happening next. Now is the time to dream big, okay, especially now. And remember that your dreams can change and that's okay. For example, six months ago, I thought that the dream that I had was going to be mainly for my career, for my business, that um, I was hoping to get my twins into preschool um, come the start of 2022, and that I was going to be able to put more time into my business and to expand it and to take on new things. Well, things changed. Um, my husband and I are now um, in the process of becoming homeowners. And um, now my dream is to really just be home and enjoy this time with my children while I have it. I also have a 19 and almost 16 year old. So I know how in the blink of an eye, they're grown and gone. So, you know, dreams change. And now I'm realizing that slow and steady wins the race. It's okay if my business doesn't explode overnight. Um, I'm actually doing really well for myself and I have to just, you know, that has to be okay. But I have other dreams that aren't so much career-wise, but family-wise. And um, your dreams can change. Allow them to change. That is okay. Don't stick with the dream that you had before because you feel like all the effort was for nothing. Because that's not true. 
but follow your heart, okay? And trust. Trust is the biggest thing. And I'm kind of mind blown because it always seems to work this way when I have two different decks um, that I've never used or never seen before that I pull cards that are um, right there with each other on the same exact page. And now the flame is huge because we also have this morning, see if I can get this in here, trust. <laughs> you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. See if I can get both of these in here. Oh, I'm getting wax on my brand new. I'm having a day, guys. I'm having a day. And it's only just begun. When you listen to your soul's voice, you will never go down a path not meant for you. But you must learn to trust that voice. By honoring the sacred knowledge within you and acting on it, you can manifest great miracles in your life. Your intuition yearns to be heard. And every day you are given opportunities that test your trust in it. Ooh. As you go through your human journey, pay attention to each instant this voice arises. Notice the significance and don't necessarily dismiss it as coincidence. Begin to perceive yourself as part of the flow of life with an ever-expanding part in it. As conflicts and challenges come up, recognize these obstacles as opportunities. The more you accept your inner voice as trustworthy, the easier life becomes. Unfortunately, there are many things in this dimension that you cannot trust. Some people and sometimes even your own eyes. But no matter what, you can always trust when your intuition speaks. Well, my intuition is telling me that I need to make a protection spell chart today. And this makes me think of a quote that my husband says a lot. Trust um, half of what you, or was it none of what you see and half of what you hear, or trust half of what you see and none of what you hear, something like along those lines. But um, today we are being reminded that you can do anything in this lifetime, in this world that you desire, okay? Anything that you set your mind to, you are limitless, okay? And what's going to help you reach these dreams and turn them into a reality is trusting your inner voice, trusting the process and the flow of life, trusting even when, you know, negative things and challenges happen, that they're actually bringing you to something even better, okay? Trusting that the voice inside of you is going to guide you. Now, I will tell you your intuition and, and your guides, if you happen to be hearing your guides and not know it, they're never going to say anything mean to you, okay? If, if ever you're hearing negative talk or um, that something you think is your intuition, that is mean, that's your ego, okay? Your intuition is always going to guide you um, on the right path. And I really like where it says that every day we're given opportunities to test our trust in it, to test our trust in our intuition, okay? And there is sometimes um, a situation, a circumstance in our life where we trusted what we thought was our intuition and it didn't work out for us. So therefore, we are afraid to trust our own judgment, okay? Well, if that's the case, we have to learn how to find forgiveness and heal from that so we can trust our own inner voice again. All right, guys, so I'd like to give you some sort of homework every day, and today it's going to be to make some sort of a bucket list, okay? Um, write down what are some things that you you want to do in this life while, while we're still here. Um, some, you know, they can be smaller things or they can be huge things. Um, one of mine was, um, and it's been this since I was a teenager, to um, learn how to drive um, a standard that's it's always just been something there and I have a couple of times but not like driven driven it and then I have um much bigger dreams you know so it's like let me know in the comments tell me one 
What is one thing on your bucket list, okay? And while you're thinking of these, remember that you are limitless. And also remember throughout your day today to trust that inner voice, okay? Learn to pay more attention to it. It's only going to guide you in the right direction. All right, guys, I hope you have a super awesome rest of your day. I am going to try um, to go sage myself and calm down a little bit. <laughs> Love, light, and blessings, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.